some comments as well in the chat room around um, the idea that people who are talking about it are less at risk and there's a I guess a whole group of people who are not talking about it and they're higher risk. And I'm anxious when I hear things like that. No, <laughs> um, because about 70% of people who die by suicide talked about it. 70%? Yeah. yeah. Now that means some people don't, but it is inaccurate to say that if you're talking about it, you're less likely to do it. Mm. Now, the, the reason that idea exists, and there's always a grain of truth in these kind of myths that grow up around things, is that the solution or the pathway out of suicide is talking about it. Mm. But it has to be a very specific kind of structured conversation. It's not just talking about it. And once you're saying it out loud, then you're less likely to do it. Mm. So a person saying, I'm thinking about killing myself, is at risk of killing themselves. So the fact that they've stated that doesn't mean they're less likely to do it. If you think about it in another behavior set, it, it, it makes sense how bizarre this myth is. So if I say to you, I'm planning to go to work tomorrow, um, and someone said, well, that means you're less likely to do that. Yeah, I would never think that if you said that to me. Yes. I, yeah. I've yeah. said it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you I'm going to do it. So it, it just doesn't add up. However, the pathway out of suicide frequently involves talking, but it's a particular kind of talking. Mm. 